Chicken in the Kitchen, written by Nedi Okorofor, illustrated by Mehrdot Amini. It was late at night. A noise had woken Anya Ogo. She climbed out of bed and crept quietly towards the kitchen. Oh my, Anya Ogo whispered. What was she going to do? There was a giant chicken in the kitchen. It was going to spoil the food her mother and aunties had cooked her for the new yam festival the next day. She had to do something. Puck, 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 said the chicken happily. The new yam festival marked the beginning of the harvest season. It was a time for being thankful, dancing, seeing friends and family, and of course, eating lots of yams. Anya Ogo couldn't let the chicken ruin the yam dishes in the fridge. What was wrong with it? Anya Ogo wondered. The chicken was causing a lot of mischief. Anya Ogo wished she knew where her friend, the woodwit, was. He was a nature spirit. He would know what to do. Anya Ogo tried to muster up some courage. I'm going to just... Tell it to leave. Or maybe not. It was time to get help from the woodwit. <laughs> Where is it? Anyogo wondered. The woodwit could travel through anything made of wood. It could be almost anywhere. Maybe it was playing outside in the coconut trees. If so, she would never be able to find it. Are you in there? Anyogo called. There you are, Anyogo said. There you are, the woodwit said. It laughed. <laughs> you have a chicken in your kitchen and you want to get rid of it. How do you know? I know everything that the wood knows, the woodwit said. Anya Ogo didn't understand what the woodwit meant, but that didn't matter. The woodwit was always saying odd things like that. Will you help me? Sure, I love being helpful. It looks quite annoyed, the woodwit said. Whatever have you done to it? I didn't do anything, Anya Ogo insisted. How can I make it leave? Ask it, the woodwit said. But ask it in chickenese. But I don't speak chickenese, cried Anya Ogo. Say buck buck cluck, the woodwit suggested. But you have to say it just right. It burst out laughing, amused with itself. Anya Ogo lifted her chin, clenched her fists, and said, Hello. The chicken flashed the sunniest, shiniest, sweetest smile Anya Ogo had ever seen. Then the woodwit began to hum. It sounded like three voices and a soft drumbeat. It was the sound of the drumbeat that Anya Ogo understood. How had she not guessed it? This was more than a chicken. Buck, buck, it said softly. It was asking her to dance. Later that night, when Anya Ogo finally went to bed, she smiled to herself. Her father had told her about the powerful masquerade spirits that came to participate in the new yam festival. Masquerades visited the community during festivals, ceremonies, and events. Some were spirits of the elements, like the land and water. Others were ancestors returning to dance, showing that death was a natural part of life. This one must have come for a midnight snack. At the new yam festival the next day, Anya Ogo ate several yam dishes and saw some of the biggest yams she had ever seen. But though she watched many wonderful masquerades perform, 
She did not see the chicken masquerade among them until... Thanks for joining us. If you like this video, please subscribe for more kids' story time.